Grace and peace to you all. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Beloved, today is the 16th day of the third month of the year 2020. By the grace of God, you are alive there and I am also alive and well here just as you are alive and well there. The Lord has been so good to you and I, my beloved. He has been so good, giving us fresh air, giving us everything that pertains to this life. God has been so good. The temperature here is 52 degrees, 52 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, which makes it about 11.1 .1 degrees uh, Celsius. And like I said, God has been so, so good. In spite of all that is going around, in spite of the panic that has stricken the whole world, um, you and I, the Bible says in the book of Psalm 125, this, those who trust in the Lord shall be like Mount Zion that cannot be moved. So I trust that, you know, in the face of this prevailing pestilence called uh, coronavirus, you and I are digging uh, our heels into Christ Jesus, that our, we are holding on firm to him. He is the only one. He is our defense, our anchor, our shield, our buckler, our everything. My beloved, he is the only one that can deliver you and I. My beloved, at the beginning of this year, the Lord gave me a song that I release. I released, it was played, uh, it has been played on several radio stations. Strong and mighty is the Lord. And if you listen to that, the lyrics of that song, you can tell that the Lord was, is reassuring us all. But I would like, love you, f if you have that song, listen to it, the beginning, what I spoke, and also the theme that the Lord gave me to give to all of us for this year, knowing and doing the perfect will of God. Beloved, it is very important, it's very, very important. The Lord gave me that to give to all of us, the whole world. I don't know how far it has circulated because you know, we live in a world where it's only those who are able to give us that which tickle our ears that we listen to. But for some of us, we may be speaking what God is saying, God has for us, all of us, but because you don't have a name or you don't have a whatever, <laughs> the message doesn't go. But it will be okay, it will be well for now that we have this before us. We have this pestilence before us to so go back and examine what God gave to us and be listening to all the messages that the Lord by His grace has placed in my heart to be delivering every morning when I walk and also behind the pulpit in the church. There are messages that you and I will do well to go back and listen to okay they may not tell you that you have a million dollar in the, your bank account but they are telling you that you have to be ready make sure that you you love god you reverence god you immerse yourself in him because he's all we need today you know at the beginning of the year there were so many prophets telling you this is a year of ownership what would it tell you? ownership of what ownership of coronavirus or the year of Increase. Increase of what? Increase of coronavirus? What were they telling you? We're appealing to your flesh. Appealing to your senses. The things that you want to hear, as the Bible tells us, that they will tell us what you and I want to hear. My beloved, ask those prophets now. What were they telling you when they said a year of increase? A year of this? The year of ownership? The year of whatever? Ask them. What were they telling you? Ownership of what? Increase of what? Hallelujah. But I know my God who said, this is the year to know him. If you don't know him, if you've been playing church, to know him and to know and to do his perfect will. Because in these difficult times, it is only those who know and do the perfect will of God who will abide. Hebrew, the book of Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He's speaking about those who know and do the perfect will of God. So my beloved, let's go back and listen to all those messages. It will help you and I in this difficult time, in these days of adversity, in these days of pestilence. It, it behoves you and I to draw closer to God, 
to dip ourselves, immerse ourselves in Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Hallelujah! The Lord is good, my beloved. Today's message comes from the book of Psalm 94. Psalm 94, please, if you have a Bible, turn with me. The book of Psalm 94. My beloved, I pray that these messages that come, long though they may be, I pray that you be patient and listen to it in its entirety and also share. Okay? Share. We live in a day and time when the Word of God has become so precious and dear to you and I. Okay? The Word of God has become so, it has to become so precious and dear to you and I. You know, as I speak now, nations all around the world, you know, they've closed down borders, they've closed down business, they are closing down, even churches. Uh, no gathering. You can't hold church. You can't do anything. My friend, if this be the case, what will it be on that day? The day, that day of the Antichrist. How would it be? So this is what should wake us up to reality. That we may dip ourselves in Jesus Christ. That we will seek to know him and to know him for who he is. That he will also know us. The book of Nahum said the Lord is good. Nahum chapter 1. Nahum. Chapter 1, verse 7. The Lord is good. It's a, it's a stronghold in a time of trouble. It's a stronghold in a time of trouble. What trouble we have, do we have now? Coronavirus trouble. But the Lord is good. It's a stronghold in a time of trouble. This time, he knows those who are his. Does he know you? Does he know me? Have, what, have we put our trust in him resolutely? Absolute trust in him? Because the people who have put their trust in the Lord are the one who the Lord knows. The Lord is a stronghold in the time of trouble. We are living in troubled times. Borders have closed. Wall streets fluctuating back and forth. People are afraid. Panic-stricken world. But there is one who is not panicked. His name is Jesus Christ. And those who put their trust in him, they are the ones that he knows. And those who he knows, he protects and he shields from all harm and danger. Beloved, let us yield our all to Jesus Christ. Let us surrender our, law, our all to Jesus Christ. I believe I will just stay on this subject for this 10 minutes and then I'll come back around for the next one Then I'll deliver a message on Psalm 94. You know, the Lord, you and I, have to endear our hearts to him. That the Lord should be more than anything to you and I. In this present time, Nahum chapter 1, verse 7. Please go back and read it. Nahum chapter 1, Nahum chapter 1, verse 7, and 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19. Those two scriptures, let them hold them dear to your heart. Because that's where the key is. Nahum says, The Lord is good. He is good. He is a stronghold. It's a hiding place. A stronghold is a hiding place. A, a buttress, a, a buckler, a shield is a stronghold in the time of trouble. We are living in troubled times. A pestilence called coronavirus is ravaging. It's a difficult time, a time of trouble. But the Bible says the Lord is good. It's a stronghold in the time of trouble. He knows those who are his. He knows you if you really belong to him and what does second timothy say paul writes to second Tim uh, to timothy he says nevertheless the foundation of god standeth sure it has a seal it has a seal that the lord knows his own therefore let any and everyone who names the name of the lord depart from iniquity so beloved what do we need to do in these difficult times we have to examine ourselves Make sure that we are not living and walking in iniquity. And if we are, we should depart from iniquity. If we name the name of the Lord, depart from iniquity. And surrender our lives wholly to Jesus Christ. If we don't know Jesus Christ, it is time to know him now. It is time to know him now. Surrender to him. He is our defense. He is our shield. He is our stronghold. He is our hiding place. Beloved, this is God's word that I want to give to you on this part of the message. So I'm going to send two messages. This is the number one, part one. And the part two is going to Psalm 94. Grace and peace to you, and God bless. Bye-bye.